In this work, we present the design of a multiple camera Kinex system. Our setup includes a camera rig, an interference reducing physical approach based on vibrators, curtains for light control, and visual feedback provided through a large LCD screen. In this video we show also some of the software enhancements, which we have developed in this context. Our system can be calibrated with two methods. First, we use an artificial marker tracker, to obtain extrinsic camera parameters. Second, we can additionally refine the depth measurements of the different Kinects. Therefore, we create a calibration sequence, using a defined red sphere. Here, the green color means uncertain sphere regions, red means a certain detection by more cameras. This scene shows a point rendering, using only extrinsic camera parameters and standard intrinsic parameters. Now, we switch on our intrasensor depth correction. The white lines are the viewing rays to the center of the sphere of the different sensors. This can help many applications using inexpensive, multiple RGBD sensors. Comparing scenes with this novel correction method to scenes without it, shows great results for red spheres, and of course also for all other parts of the capture volume. By introducing a novel histogram-based truncated sine distance function volume, we can significantly improve the straightforward application of the Kinect Fusion algorithm to multiple Kinects. The following comparison shows different cutting planes through the TSDF volume of a simple scene containing a round table. The table is wrapped in a tablecloth. Left shows a direct application of the Kinect Fusion algorithm to multiple Kinect inputs. Right shows our improved version of the Kinect Fusion algorithm. A reconstruction of the zero level set for the table gives these results. Note that no clear zero crossing can be found for the table surface on the left. This can already be used for a full body scanner application. This scene shows the 3D TSDF of one of our test dummies on a table. It was reconstructed after only 10 frames and exported to a smooth polygon mesh. Our system can also capture and play 3D videos using image-based visual hulls. While common image-based visual hull systems use only silhouette extraction from an RGB stream, our system incorporates also depth information to improve the result. This scene shows one of the authors in his virtual living room. The viewpoint can move freely and the 3D video can be combined with virtual objects. That way, this fellow can also walk through his virtual garden. The OmniKinex setup is also ideal to investigate photometric registration algorithms. It provides a controlled environment for lighting and scene reconstruction. The left video shows a reconstruction of the scene lit by the estimated environment light. The right shows the input stream. Because we know the whole scene, we can also make people and selected things transparent. In reality, we actually cannot turn the Terminator into another robot. The OmniKinex setup can also be used to create an augmented reality magic book. <coughs> this example shows a personalized 3D photo book of karate training. The training can have been performed by an end user a few years ago. The user can play back the photo book, each page including different karate moves. With our system, we can record and play back these sequences. This application allows the user to easily explore and memorize the moves in 3D. Rotating or moving the pages of the book can be used to access other viewpoints. This would not be feasible with a standard single RGBD sensor setup. Similarly to the magic book, we can use the recorded sequences for creating new types of interactive tabletop games. Combined with an auto stereoscopic display, this setup can also be used as 3D magic mirror. That way we can help this fellow to improve his karate abilities. <coughs> Thank you.
Thank you for watching.